Do you think that all the reviews online, when they're for a brand new pair of boots, pretty pointless? I just really don't see the point of uh, talking about boots when they're brand new. Every review is just someone trying to sell them and they're brand new. They haven't got a clue how it's really going to perform. They can just repeat what the manufacturer has put down. Um, I've had these Jack Pike Hunters boots for four years now. Um, they're, you know, they're pretty much worn to the point they could be replaced now. Uh, water is pouring in them through the tongues, which is the worst part about the boot. Um, some of the online reviews list these as being leather. They're not leather. They're not leather. Look, they're a vinyl material. It is very soft. If you look at it, look at that. It's degraded completely. Uh, I looked after my boots pretty well, uh, kept them clean. There was, I, I don't think there's anything I could have done to stop this from doing it. The vinyl's just peeling off wholesale now, and the, the textile material below it, there's nothing I can do to waterproof that. There's, I've tried, I've tried all kinds of waterproofing um, solutions. If you're, if you're wearing these boots and it's wet, and the grass comes up to about so far and it's wet, water will absolutely pour through them now, um, and that hasn't just happened. That was probably a, that's about after a, two years or so of wear that started to give up the ghost. The laces on the boots uh, have been excellent. They haven't they haven't frayed or given up at all on the ends. The laces are quite a reasonable quality, to be fair. Uh, often they split and they're a pain in the neck on cheaper boots. It's a pet hate of mine, but that's been pretty good. The soles on these boots are Vibram. Not bad, they're noisy. They are noisy boots. They've got a high rubber rand around them. Whether that's a good idea or not, I don't, I don't know. But the soles, very, very soon, maybe within six months to a year of having them began to squeak. I'd be creeping around with night vision on at night and I could not stop them squeaking with every footstep. And in, and in the, the, the dead of night, it seems very, very loud. I don't know if I can get to do it, but there's on one of them as well, there is a, a cracking noise. Yeah, did you hear that? Listen to it. They're very, very noisy, you know, around the soles. Very noisy. I'm um, size 10. These are size 10. It's spot on for that size. No problem with the sizing at all. And the boots, to be fair, have been comfortable. I've never had my feet rubbing them. Uh, they were super comfortable from day one. The boots gave good support. I can't complain at all about the comfort of the boots. Um, the leather I've used uh, mink oil to try and soften them up and now beeswax. There was one time I think where I didn't, um, where I left them dirty. I'm usually very fussy about the boots and try and make them last for a long time and I, I, I like putting lots of product on the boots. There was some splitting of the leather, um, a little bit there. I guess you, you buy these to a price, they're about £110 now on eBay. Um, it's an entry level boot what can I say you can spend a lot more money and get something better you're buying something made to a price I think it's quite honest what they're charging for them when I bought them they might have been about 85 90 pounds on eBay um, back then I'll just show you one more thing this part of the shoe here this is made of the same material that the tongues are and it's it's held out okay. It's very soft, it's nice. But there's also this part here. So if, if anyone's thinking that it was perhaps the laces that were abrading the surface to make it break down, it, it, it's happened here as well on the back and uh, water does come in through them. Water doesn't come in anywhere else. The soles haven't parted from the uppers. The leather's waterproof. Um, it, it's pretty good, but this is the weakness. I'm not going to throw these boots out because I just use sealskin socks with them. And with sealskin socks on them, it's not a problem. I wore sealskins from the start when I was stalking because your foot would sink anyway. And the height of the boot where the water can come in is, is fairly low, I suppose. So it was always better to wear socks anyway. The boots are going to get wet if you're out for a few days. They do. 
Um, as far as I'm concerned, I've, I've got another pair of boots now. Um, I'm going to keep these, going to wear them every other time, something like that, just to extend the life of my ones. I'm going to wear them with the waterproof socks. Uh, going back, would I still have bought these? You know, in hindsight, f four years on, definitely. I still would go back. At the time, I had to kit out myself with um, trousers, jackets, uh, lots of other stalking equipment when I was starting out. And it, they're, they're made to a price. It's a fair price. And you get what you pay for. They've given they've given me fair wear out of them. They were just under £100, about four years, 25 quid a year. Sounds pretty good to me. Um, I'd still buy them, but now, now they're worn out. I certainly wouldn't then go back to buying them again. I want something better now. Uh, and I certainly would not buy them again on the strength of this uh, because I would be worried about how long this will last. It's an, it, it really is a bad weakness, the tongue's doing that. Jack Pike Hunter Boots. Um, decided just to give you a, a proper review. There's no point in getting um, reviews online for a new product. No one's telling you anything about it. The bad feature on these are the tongues and the soles are very noisy. I've been stalking, shooting, uh, beating in them. I've done quite a bit of work in them. They are comfortable, but to a price. Soles, noisy plasticky you can feel movement that clicking you can actually feel that on the side to side when you wear them you're buying a boat at a price pay your money take your choices